Welcome to Rama Drama Live and the Falling for Fantasy panel. Uh, I am Shalini Manjanath Holbrook. I am a lifelong romantic comedy fan. I love escaping into a good fantasy, and I'm a Hallmark Channel podcaster, so I've been covering so many of these rom-coms and Christmas movies, but I haven't gotten to cover fantasy yet, so really excited about chatting with some of these guys coming up right now. First up here is, you know him from Charmed, Sleepwalkers, Return from the Blue Lagoon, it's Brian Krause. A round of applause, woo! And then you know this next guy, also from Charmed, Love Fallen Order, Army Wives, it's Drew Fuller. Here, guys, come on over, have a seat. Okay, have a seat. Yeah, have a seat, absolutely. And then finally, we have got a very fat, he's going to speed on in here. We've got Teddy Sears from The Flash, The Politician, and Christmas in Evergreen. Yeah, I get, you got to zoom on over here, right? Well, hi, guys. Welcome. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Um, uh, wow, I'm, I feel so lucky right now. I get to start off the day here with these, these three handsome gentlemen. Um, so first off, I got to say, because fantasy is just a, it's a really cool genre, and y'all have done a ton of different types of projects. W is it different doing a fantasy show over some of the other things that you've done? What, what is that like? Brian, do you want to start? Uh, yeah, I, I think just in the prep uh, and the production, uh, I think it's different in every show, you know, from doing a Lifetime or Hallmark movie to doing a creature feature or a drama. Uh, I think on the set's different. Uh, and these days, a lot of your Lifetime Hallmark movies are shot in a couple of weeks. So uh, it's literally come in, it's kind of this formulaic script, you know, you fall in love, you you're either the love interest or the bad guy. There's no in between for male <laughs> right, roles right. in these movies, right? So yeah. you kind of know what you're getting into and it's, it's kind of quick and, uh, but yeah, I think it's a lot different than doing, you know, your typical dramatic movie or, or anything else. And with uh, Charmed, I mean, you had some, I mean, having all those superpowers and like, it's just a totally different world, right? I mean, you It know. is, it's, uh, you're able to play pretends, you know, nothing's off. You know, it, when you're playing in the fantasy world, uh, you can do anything because, you know, there's a green monster that's supposed <laughs> to be real. So, you know, you're, you're the freedom in acting, you can get, you can go anywhere because there's a green monster <laughs> that's supposed to be real. So I, I don't think it limits us as far as trying to be super real, like, oh, this is exactly what would happen. I'm like, oh, yeah, really? The last time you ran into a green monster, that's like, <laughs> that's how you reacted? So I think it frees you up as an actor of, of what you can do yourself. Very cool. What, what were you going to say, Teddy? Uh, it wasn't going to be as good as that. So I'm, I'm <laughs> glad I didn't go first. I'm no. elaborate. No, it, but blabbing's good. Yeah. What was the question? <laughs> How fantasy is different from some of the other projects that you guys have done, is it? <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> you, went on this, you went on this journey and he, it got all serious. He was serious. going on a journey. Right, right, you right. to talk about your motivation. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> My character. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got to explore this, though, because you two have known each other for quite a while, obviously, th through Teddy Charmed. And I? <laughs> we go <laughs> deep. Yeah. And you and Teddy go I deep. just yelled at him for the first time when he was being introduced, and he looks at me like, who, who is yelling at me? I don't know who that human is. Yeah, we've well, known each other about four minutes. Well, you're going to be fast friends after this, I yeah, can yeah, tell. Yeah, for sure, for um, sure, sure. But what were your impressions of each other when you first met each other, Brian and Drew? Go ahead. <laughs> it's like this little punk. Who does he think he is coming in here? <laughs> that was my impression. And then I heard he was from Newport, and I was like, whatever. Like yeah. he, he grew up in the fancy kid area. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, like, for real, I don't know if Brian was the most welcoming. <laughs> but we, in all fairness, we were on a show that was kind of chewing up and spitting out dudes like every episode and so and brian was the the mainstay he was the steady and 
I think he was protective over the girls and protective over like the environment that he had kind of been, kind of came up with. And therefore, when I came on and I was like, hey, what's going on, blah, blah, And he was like, rrr, rrr. <laughs> That's kind of basically what he did. He just kind of growled at me. Um, but a few years ago, I would probably like say six or seven, we kind of reconnected when we started traveling a lot and promoting the show. And um, I think we kind of met this time as equals a little bit yeah. more. And like I had grown up, like I was 22 when we met and now I'm yeah, over 22. <laughs> 22. <laughs> and so there's definitely like a, a, a I think a lot of mutual respect and we have we come from a you know a similar background and it's just yeah it's evolved and changed and now he's one of my closest friends so well I know all three of you have come from such I mean so many incredible castmates I mean I know with the flash Teddy that must have been just an incredible group of people to work with what was it like working on that yeah I, I was lucky um, to be well received in the group with the 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 first season was was quite successful. I came in for the second season, and they were a tight knit group already. And I was like, yeah, whenever you join a show, it's like uh, joining, I imagine, a new high school where everyone knows each other, and it's much smaller, and they're all cool. They're like the cool kids, and you kind of want to be accepted. And and um, yeah, I was greeted warmly. They kind of took me in as as one of their own, and and they were all really tight friends. And you can see it translates really well on camera. I mean, the, the heart of the of the series is, you know, it's, it's relationships, it's family, it's love, and they, they have that in spades. So, um, yeah, I was lucky to do it. I did, I did a full season, uh, got to come back for the 100th episode and sort of reprise the thing, and then, you know, they're about to start their eighth season, I and wow. uh, maybe their last, I don't know. Uh, there's been some sort of hints that you'll see some of the, you know, prior faces come back. Uh, I would be very hopeful that that happens. It would be great to see them one more time. If it's the last season, you know, before they send it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I would love to see it. It's always it. like, like, yeah, we always just want a phone call to come out of the blue and not <laughs> audition for something. Just, hey, hey, can you, yeah. can you do this? Is this something you'd, and it's a, it's, for me, it's always like, oh God, yes, thank you, thank you. That's an actor 100%. dream, right? We don't have to audition for anything. We just get to just get a call and say, just come on back. It is just, nice to be thought you know. of because you yeah. so often feel, you can feel forgotten. Um, yep. Uh, so yeah, it's lovely. Maybe these guys have had more success with that than. Well, Drew, you I, came I, I in. I know we just met, but you're never forgotten. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's so sweet. I mean, I see, already, but I also see, thought already, you were the. Well, here's the thing. I saw this guy's Hawaiian shirt and I thought. Why didn't I wear my Hawaiian shirt? You can wear it tomorrow. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, just don't, already don't, don't sweat letting too him borrow your today. clothes. I'm not making fun of you, actually. I, I'm looking no. at my closet before this trip. I'm like, oh, I thought you I brought your it? own Hawaiian no, shirt. No, I didn't, and, you and I should to have. wear one. And I you, wanted I'm not offering you mine. I'm saying you can wear yours. Oh, I tomorrow. thought you were. Okay, no, well, I thought no, no, you were offering no. me yours. No, no, no. See, if we did just meet, so we don't know each other that well. You know, so but again, that's, that's I'm seeing, okay. I'm seeing a reason. connection Chemistry. here. I really like, am. Well, you know, I, I, I smell a spinoff yeah. of, of <laughs> the Rama Drama Weekend. Uh, that's it. That's <laughs> right. We're writing it right Wait, here. Wait, what character were you on The Flash? Uh, in season two, I, I was a character called Zoom. I Zoom. Was a bad yeah. guy called Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And well, when they introduced you, I thought you were The Flash. I was like, oh, nice. We're yeah, I should have like moonwalked my way <laughs> yeah. out here, but I don't have any <laughs> dance moves, so I, I didn't. Um, yeah. Well, since this is Rama Drama, obviously we're talking about, you know, this is a weekend of people who love romance, too. And in the fantasy world, I feel like the romantic elements really make it pop. I mean, Brian, your part, your Leo, your character, is part of a very iconic couple, character couple with Piper. So what is it like being a part of that and, and, and being a part of all that romance, too, that Charmed had? It's, uh, it's weird, you know, uh, it's weird. I've, 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 I've honestly had, I, I think a, a lot of the stuff I've done, I've, it's been romance, like with some pretty hot chicks. Uh, <laughs> lucky job. Uh, but it's, it's weird, like, because, you know, you're not dating the person you're supposedly madly in love with. It, you know, you want to quit your big job in New York City and move to a small town with this woman because she's perfect. You know, so yeah. uh, you're not really in love with them. So it's a little weird being romantic on camera. Um, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's weird. It's it like, is. hi, and, I, and usually, you know, you do all the kissing and making out scenes like on the first day of meeting somebody. So yeah. it's like, hey, I'm Brian. All right, let's get naked. Let's go. And <laughs> yep, it's, yep. It's a little much. odd. Yeah, I would, I would imagine that would be. I mean, it's nice. Maybe. It's a nice perk to the job <laughs> because they're, again, 
some beautiful actresses, but... Well, and Holly's so, so wonderful. You guys have such a great connection, too, obviously. It was great. I mean, Holly's an amazing actress uh, and very supportive and kind and... Um, She's you know, not here right now, dude. You can say... No, you but as, as an actor, it was very... Uh, it was on my show, on that show, I think... Uh, I don't think there's another... If I had dated one of the other sisters, I probably wouldn't be here. I'd be dead. But uh, as far as like acting level, Holly was always there, right there, and she's she's a dramatic actress. So it was it was nice to be opposite her as opposed to maybe one of the others where you come in, you date, you die, as we oh. talked about. It's charm. I don't know if we watched. That. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guys died. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much yeah. every guy died. Yeah. And you had some romances on there too, Drew. Not Chris really. Had, Chris I, had a Chris few. Chris died. I died. Yeah. You I d- mean, you did. Yeah. I did. That happened. Um, but no, I didn't really get a great romance. I mean, I had like a throwback romance that was kind of the main motivation for my character. Um, but for the most part, that wasn't really... The, the romance wasn't my character's... Yeah. In my character's blueprint. Yes, I was. Right, I was right. on a mission to save the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. N- not a lot of time for love. <laughs> I would imagine that's a pretty big job, actually, very big job. Um, with uh, Teddy, with uh, with Zoom, I know one of the big things in your character, romance-wise, was, I mean, Caitlin. With Caitlin was, Snow, yeah, Danielle he, Panabaker. Yeah, yeah, she was like the big. Uh, I mean, you revealed all your plans to her. You know, she was the chink in your armor. I felt so. Yeah. Do you think that Zoom really loved her? Like your character really loved her? Yeah, or? And in fact, the the then um, executive producer, uh, Andrew Kreisberg, uh, he was very upfront when we started the show. He said, you know, you, you are playing this Flash, Jay Garrick character from Earth 2, and you need to convince everyone that you're this guy, and eventually we'll reveal that you're not. But the one thing that is true is you're sort of falling for, for the Caitlyn character. Uh, Zoom is terrible when it comes to dating, though. He 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 stole her uh, from Earth One and then chained her to the to his like yeah. rickety bed in his lair. So like like the, the guy yeah, didn't know what he was doing. This is a dysfunctional relationship. Like, yeah, but they make a Netflix movie love, about right? this. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't there a Netflix movie about this? Three Six Five. Is there? Is that a real? I haven't. Is no, that, no, yeah, that, yeah. So basically, this dude, he's really handsome. He kidnaps a girl and like basically chains her to his. Oh dear! And, and, and it's like I, I but he, but I he try, but he's basically well, he has 365 days to convince her that she's in love with him. Oh, this is not a, this is not yeah, like love is this, blind. This is not no, a reality. Is, no, no, like, this is like a real. Happens. This I was like a like big Zoom hit. I felt like Zoom had a little bit more charm. I mean, I felt like he had a little bit more charm than that, even though he was the he was pretty much. <laughs> even the though bad he was guy. a sociopath, he, was, he, was he really did. Well, well sociopaths wait a second. Are quite you can't yeah, condone this kind charming. of behavior, Shaw. Like <laughs> right. if you, you <laughs> right. I can't just you can't chain a potential love interest. They had chemistry and pray that they're okay with that. And I think that too, you know, with Christmas and Evergreen that you did. Also, I mean, that's another one that I think had so much fun, like. Romantic oh, we did elements. Have fun. Oh boy, yeah. The magic in that one was really. That nice. was my first Hallmark Christmas movie, and I was a little alarmed to see how fast they shoot these things. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a 17-day shoot, and apparently that was generous. It's like, That's oh, a long one. Whoa, oh, whoa, 17. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, because usually they're 13 or 14 or something. Yeah. If that. If okay, <laughs> and so it's a breakneck pace. Uh, Ashley Williams was um, who's such a. She's a, like, luckily they paired me up with a veteran who's like, listen, here's how it works, here's what we do. Uh, there was no time for rehearsals. Like, usually actors like to say the lines a few times on set and figure it out. And the director, every day was the same thing. He's like, guys, we're really, our back's really against the wall today. So if we could just do this quickly and. Uh, good morning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good morning. All, we're already running, you know, behind schedule. So, but Ashley was right. She's like, listen, they will not make a bad product. This is wow. going to be beautiful. You have to trust well, the process. And the scenery in that movie, too. I mean, the whole town is just so idyllic. It's beautiful. <laughs> I remember, this is 2017. I remember when we shot in Burnaby, which is just outside of Vancouver, there's a little like Main Street, sort of like a, I don't know, like a front for like, there's like a candy shop and a diner and stuff. Uh, and it was so busy in the, the September of 2017 that the only crew they could get was like were like film students from Winnipeg or something because all the other camera operators were out on other projects and uh, and again they made it look great and I, I uh, yeah. yeah 
I mean, we were all joking that we would all want to be in Evergreen. Like, we would want to live there. It's such, so, such a gorgeous well, place. Well, and clearly it's so it hit a nerve because they, they've done four now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've done. It's really turned into four a franchise. Four Christmases in Evergreen? Four Christmases four in Evergreen. Christmas Are you in all four of them? I am, I am not at yeah, all. Yeah, we don't know no, yeah, okay, so here's a little interesting thing. You left after the first movie. We, I was we, only in the first, yeah. and so it always comes up every, it's like a running joke. Where's, uh, hey, Allie, where's Ryan? It's like, ah, he's uh, he's away on business. Or like, he's he's defrosting he's, he's, the, pl- he's, he's defrosting the freezer. He's yeah. cleaning the oven. <laughs> he's, he's in the, the other room. So no, I, I haven't been. Um, I'm hoping there's always a reason why I'm not in it. Uh, I can't even, I can't walk through and wave. <laughs> Hopefully this year, because I think there are plans for another one. Ooh, oh, I, right. will, I would love I'm that. Hearing. I can't wait. I really but love that think, These things come together so last minute that Ashley told me last year that, you know, they didn't have a script six weeks before. Yeah. They wrote it really quickly and then... Um, Everything and goes really the fast. The author is here of the original Christmas Evergreen and That's Nancy right, Nancy Nagel, Nagel yeah. Uh, and Rick Garman, and so they would be able to speak more to like how fast it goes, but I remember Ashley saying last year, I'm a blabber too, uh, that it was, you know, six weeks and then a week before, they're like, are you free? Can you do it? Can you come on up? And then, uh, or maybe she was already there doing something, I don't know. Yeah, um, well, I mean, I know uh, with, with a reboot, I mean, Whoa. is there maybe Charmed going to be coming back? Miniseries, reboot. movie, what do you guys think? Any any I mean, scoop on that, Brian? They did reboot it. Yeah, they did do the, like, the, that reboot. But and I think one of the lead actresses guys, just quit, which is pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the to, the to main movie one. star? Who knows? Um, right, right, I think there's a... <laughs> there, Transition to features. I'm quitting to do features. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, Never to be seen again. It has definitely been talked about, yeah. for sure. But I think wait a reboot of the reboot. No, no, no. Like about? it would okay. probably be more of like a, a, a mini series, a one off, or you know, a movie. Holly and I had talked about writing something together, um, but to get everyone kind of back, it mm-hmm. seems right now almost impossible. Just yeah. logistics, logistically, um, plus. CBS owns the rights to the show, and so they're not really willing to. They're, yeah, they're, they might be a foil get, in the plan. Getting the four ladies in the same room on the same show is is That's tough. Uh, logistically, I would uh, <laughs> notice I picked that word. It's uh, it, it'd be a challenge. It'd be a tall order. It'd be a challenge. And uh, that's not to say it would be impossible. Like there were a couple workarounds that we thought of. Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Um, Let's get down to sure, it. Sure, I'll work with her again. <laughs> yeah. how, much, how much did you say? <laughs> but yeah, I would never say never, but also I wouldn't be holding your breath. Cause Got it. that would be. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to still hold out hope. I okay. mean, yeah. I, I can still hold out sure. hope Friday. for it, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. We can still hold out hope. Woo. Um, right to network. So the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, again, within the fantasy genre, I would think as an actor, it'd be really fun to play all of the superpowers that you get to have. I mean, Brian, you've gotten to, I mean, what haven't you done? You've been a healer, the teleporting. Drew, you did telekinesis, I think, which is like, isn't that where you move objects? You, you've got super speed. Yeah. I mean, what was that like to play? And then what would be your superpower in real life if you could, if you could have one? Well, I, like at the beginning, it, you know, having superpowers or whatever, it's, it's a fake green giant. You, you know, now you have these, you know, it's, you can do anything. It's like, yes, I have the power! You know, so it feels like you're <laughs> playing pretends, like you're a seven-year-old on the playground. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, but it's, it's a, a lot of fun. It's changed too, because when we first started doing it, it was like the early, early days of special effects and what you could do, right. and like they tape up, like uh, basically Christmas lights onto your arms and then in your hands. Now everything's just done with computer effects, right? And so before it was like you know movies. Now you'll see like all the Marvel movies. They're shot on basically a stage, not unlike this, but all the walls are green. And there's like blocks and tables that are green, and like, don't worry, we're gonna fill all this in later. You just have to play make believe, which is kind of beautiful in some way because it brings you back to that childlike innocence of how you approach um, and um, your imagination and getting to kind of play and just make believe. Um, but when we were doing it, it was definitely more practical in a sense and much slower. <laughs> Much slower, but, yeah. but fun. I, I fantasy so much fun. I mean, it's you know, there's there's so many times like as an app, people are like, oh, would you rather play Leo or do the like this doctor show or this cop procedural show? And it's like, you know, 
when you play the detective, you're the detective. It's, it's kind of the same story over and over, right? Someone dies, da da da, you go grieve, you catch a criminal. It's the same week after week. The doctor, the same week after week. It, on Charmed and these fantasy shows, it's always changing. So you're, you're, now I have this power, now I have this thing. So the character you get to play is, isn't so linear. And, and yeah. you know, you get to kind of have all these different depths of it. And being a child on the playground playing, it's, you know, it's opened up this world of acting that's, I'm not just the detective dealing with the same thing over and over. And I, I think that's what I enjoyed most about playing Leo is, you know, I went from this soft angel to I could heal people to I have, I'm a bad guy, I'm a good guy, I'm, you know, the, the range is a lot greater than just being the doctor or detective. As an actor, I think it's, it's fun. Yeah, because you're always on your toes in that, in, in that regard. You don't know what the next script is going to require of you, whereas if you're playing the, the detective or the doctor, you know, and then you're in the group. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I know what this is, I know, who, I know how he responds to this situation, how he talks to this person. There isn't a curveball thrown necessarily um, yeah, to, to that end, you're right. It's like you have to be much more on your toes, and then you can be much more playful and creative. Right, and then yeah, find it because on set. you can go anywhere. the the yeah. the The world is limitless to an author's pen, right? Yeah. Whereas the detective stories, right, you're, <laughs> right, 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 you're a cop. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. It's just predictable versus yeah. this one. You just got to be a little bit on your toes, which is very cool. Yeah. What about your superpower? What would you What would you choose? In real life, you know, I, I think Leo had the best. You know, he's he's a healer. He, he I mean, who wouldn't want that, uh, right? Yeah. We all have family, friends, and especially in this day and well, age. Well, this past uh, year too. Yeah, we, we could. I mean, used it's that healer. and orbing. You know, yeah. being able to send yourself anywhere you want. Fill in the fans. Boom, what Maui. Is. We're going to Maui. Right. Yeah. Skip the yeah. airport. <laughs> yes. All the right. No more TSA. TSA. Can we just go? Right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, healing people would be pretty special. Yeah. What about you, Drew? Uh, I think teleporting, like that idea or um, charm, it was called orbing, where you orbiting, can just like right. grab someone and like close your eyes and you're exactly where you want to go. Like I just love traveling so much and so to be able to have kind of like an all access pass to go wherever, whenever, yeah. that would be, uh, be kind of the ultimate. Is there a bucket list destination for you that you want to go, go to? Uh, number one right now on the list is Iceland. Very I haven't cool. done Iceland yet, and like I keep the waiting Lagoons, and saving right? it. There's yeah, like, I want to do yeah. Iceland. I want to do Portugal. Those are two that I've kind of like held off, but top of the list. Very cool. What about you, Teddy? Any superpower? You, you know the the travel. I love traveling as well. I have a lot of pent up travel de uh, um, desires. Uh, language skills to be able to like go to a place and know the local dialect, or because there's so many That's places cool. that I feel that they're That'd off cool. limits. Like I'd love to go to. You know this place. Well, yeah, but they only speak the local, whatever. And that's um, it's ridiculous to say. Oh, I kind of would love to have access to all of them because there's so many. But if we're in the land of, you know, fantasy. the ridiculous the fantasy, fantasy, fantasy on the Fallen for Fantasy panel, <laughs> yeah. then why not? Uh, Is that what this panel's called? Is this, yeah. Yes, this is falling. We're falling. We're yeah. falling for okay. fantasy. Well, there you go. Are we falling fantasy. or are we following? We're, we're, it's falling? Fo it's falling? Fo following. Following. Falling. Like following. Like falling in love. Fo no, we're following. No, nope, we're no, falling. No, I think we're falling. <laughs> not with this following. We're not following fantasy. Well, I think it's time oh for Do we all follow of you. Up? If you, if you have we're, we're, any following. questions for these guys, we and would it's okay welcome if you it. Don't. I can. Um, it's totally okay. Do we if you need to catch no them up on no what's happened? We'll just keep we're chatting. debating what this actually is called. I it's believe it's called fantasy. following for fantasy. <laughs> Fala-ling. <laughs> fala -love. Anyone got a question for these guys up here? Don't be shy. Or Maybe be shy. Got, or be shy. <laughs> I know we've answered right. everything. Well, right. You, you know exactly have, where you are. About I know yourself. I have another one about okay. Okay. A, some acting stuff. We're yep. going to go into like okay. auditioning. I mean, Drew, what was it like for you to get um, Charmed, you came in season five, and then Teddy, I want to hear from you, because you guys both came in to shows that were already, I mean, you talked about it a little bit, Teddy, it was already yeah. established, yep. but like, what was that process like? Did you just have to audition? Did somebody call you? And then, I mean, did you have a direct offer, or like, how did that work? Do you want the serious answer? <laughs> First born. <laughs> right, right. The um, serious answer, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Serious answer. I, the... Back in the day, that was called the WB, which is now the CW, and they were very much 
fans of certain actors, and so they would constantly, if you, if you, they, they find their group and they continually give them shots. And I was fortunate enough to be one of those, those guys that they were like, "Hey, we really like you, and we want to put you on a show." Go Boy, ahead. what was that like? Yeah. I mean, good, <laughs> that's lucky pretty, man. That's, pretty but that's good. incredible. But you that's don't incredible. know what I had to do to get that. Uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, in the, and, the, and the following for fantasy panel would not be the place. Following to for fantasy that. is definitely not the place okay. to discuss anything. <laughs> um, so they, I had done two previous WB shows. I had booked a pilot, and then that pilot didn't go, and then and then I was passed on to another show, and then that show got canceled after like eight or nine episodes. And like, we really want you to be on our network, which was so amazing to kind of have that love and support. And wow. they said, "What would you?" Like out of these shows, which one would you want to go to? And I was like, well, this one was charmed because A, it was like, I love the progressiveness of three powerful women. B, it was already established. I didn't have to worry about like, oh my God, is this gonna get canceled tomorrow? I didn't think that, oh, I didn't recognize or realize that all the dudes were dying on that show. <laughs> uh, or I probably would have maybe picked a different show. Um, but they're like, we have this role coming up that you'd be right for, and so I met with um, I met with one of the producers, and they made me read, but like it was just it was very informal. It was kind of just in like a uh, not even in a casting office. It was more just like across a table from someone. Was it like can you string sentences together? Pretty yeah. much, right. like <laughs> and, your heart beating. And I remember yeah. they 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 brought me in. Uh, I mean, <laughs> and they basically said, so don't don't hook up with any of the girls. True story. Yeah. They said, or you will yeah. die. Yeah. They said, they said, please do Might not, make it please do not become involved with any of the women on the show. Don't, don't do it. Run. And I was like, okay, I can, I can do that. And pretty much that was their instructions, and they killed me anyway. So <laughs> right, right, right. I. I I should probably should well, we're, gl we're glad you were on it for the time that you that yeah, you were. What about you, Teddy? What was your process like for, for, for being uh, on The Flash? For Flash? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was an audition. And I remember there were, it was like a sort of a busy cluster of auditions. This tends to happen. There's nothing, and all of a sudden there might be like three things in the span of two days. And so, uh, there w which is a good thing. There wasn't as much weight on like, oh, I really got to get this because you got to spread the energy around and learn all these different things. Um, I remember, I just read for it, I remember going and Chris Klein was in the, was in the audition room. He ended up being a bad guy for season four or five. Uh, Schitt's Creek, which is a wonderful show that I love. The, the um, Ted character, Dustin Milligan, was also in the room reading. Uh, and no, I, I read, but it, this was also, this doesn't really happen anymore. Definitely not uh, because of COVID, but they're, all the creatives were in the room. The producers, the writers, the whole team, the casting team. There was eight people in the room, 10 people in the room. Uh, it was a warm room, two scenes, uh, and you know, and I left. And I remember getting a call, actually driving away from, which just doesn't happen. I was driving, I was on the freeway. This was in Burbank, and I'm on the freeway, headed home. Agent calls and said, "Hey, they they really like you." Um, uh, that hasn't happened since, so I, I'm guessing oh, there's gotten that no. call forever. But I also was never on the sh on the short list. Like that that is so enviable to be like, hey, yeah, listen, we just was, like you, we want you. That was on beautiful, our show. and I, you know, I think ultimately, it, when you get to a certain stage in your career, it's not about ta like talent. Like you've made it, you've proven to yourself that like, hey, I, I, I'm worthy and deserve of, of being here. It doesn't mean I'm the greatest actor, but I just like I've dedicated my 10,000 hours plus. I'm, you know, I've made this my profession. So when someone or a group or a team like takes a liking to you and really wants to champion you, champion you. I believe that's really, like ultimately it's who you know. Like you hear that all the time, but yeah. one of the secrets to Hollywood ultimately becomes, it's like, it's not, it's not about talent. Like th these are brilliant actors I'm sitting next to. It's about like who, who, who's a big fan of Teddy, who's a big fan of Brian, who wants to work with you again and again. Yeah. And I find that I'm constantly working as I've gotten older with the same people over and over because you've established relationships yeah, yeah. with them. And so, you know, you, you need that. It's that extra little something that kind of pushes you over the edge. Can I ask you guys a question though? Uh, do you feel, I feel this, so I mean, I'm putting this maybe on you guys. Do you feel disconnected in any way from, the, from our, career, our professional world you know, we didn't work for six months when 
studios weren't shooting anything. Maybe you guys did. I, I did not at least six months. In fact, I had a year off last year. I want to say it was almost a calendar year exactly. Yeah. And I felt really like, boy, is anything going to... There were auditions, but I was like, I really I want to get back around other actors. I, I can't wait to have that, but I feel really segmented from my group. I mean, yes and no. I think like... I, I like you, I didn't work for the whole year either, but I'm also writing and directing and kind of putting my passion and my creative energy into other things, yeah, so I'm not man. waiting smart. for the yeah. phone call. Nice. So I'm constantly creating and staying okay. busy and like feeding that Good. so oh, I right can, there. so when the call That's does so come, it's like, yeah. oh, great, but I'm also busy and fulfilled in other ways. But like, smart. I also understand what you're saying in the sense of like, there is a community and yeah. being in the room and being in a class or just being around other actors and like that kind of energy and it's like, yeah. it's infectious. It really inspires you and motivates you and like I'm working yeah. with someone and like he gives a rad performance. I'm like, oh man, I love that. And like yeah, really now I'm all up. pumped up and I, I, like, I can't <laughs> wait, like I, I wanna go, I wanna go. Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, I, I think the key is just to make sure that you have other creative outlets that feed you. Yeah. That's so important. Smart. But yeah, Brian really worked smart. the whole time, so right, right, right. He, he can't he relate to right. what we're talking. He never he about. Right, exactly. All was I mean, working. He's, a, he's the real superstar of this. One hundred percent. Well, it's, it's his here. panel. I mean, he just let, yeah, we're let following us on it. him. You're right. following him. That's, <laughs> we oh, there we go. There following we go. for my fantasy, fantasy man. I'm trying here. to get away from actors. Shoo. No, I was lucky enough to work a couple times, but yeah, I think we all went through it from March till you know, June 2020 at least. And, uh, you know, I think the desire to get back in front of people. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I yeah, love yeah, people. Yeah. I think we all miss people. We need people. And we do. that's we the do. beauty of working on a set is we're 50 to 150 people. We're a bunch of carnies. You know, we go from <laughs> town to town. We all artistic, you know, junkies. And, you know, there's nothing like being on a set to have a community. Uh, it's a family. And, and coming to cons like this, it's great to see all of you, and I'm glad you're all out here. And, you know, just to be around people, uh, yeah. I, I, it's so important, and especially for an actor where we're, you know, we need people. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and I it's think there's so much isolation. It is. yeah. It's such just, a collaborative experience, too. Well, being, that's you know. really the best part of our job is the collaboration, right? It's yeah. not a solo act. It's. Yeah the director, it's the what you look like, it's what you're wearing, it's like what your shoes, how do you walk? Um, yeah, it's these things that make a person a person. Exactly, you to know? make it believable so when yeah. you're watching it, you're entertained, but also it feels lived in. Exactly, and you can get lost in that. And the, the flip side of that is if it's not there, I don't know about you, but I tend to spot it faster. Like, oh, that, I don't know if this person's really it doesn't committed. feel authentic. It doesn't to the feel moment. authentic, yeah. But see, and then, and then obviously, ultimately, that leads to the people that you're attracted to performance-wise, like your Christian Bales, your Daniel Day-Lewis's, your Kate Blanchett's, who literally exude, you believe these characters are them. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're riveted. Yeah. 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 Well, switching gears a little bit, because this is, again, about romance here, but I have a personal <laughs> question for you guys about no that. But can um, we, do, does anyone want to yeah. ask anything? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank yes. you yes. for showing up. Yes. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't think my character goes on without uh, Piper, so I, I think in general the show goes on, um, the fantasy world, and I think that's why they kind of already rebooted the show, and that's why I'm not upset that it's different witches, it's, it's more fantasy of the same, and, and if they were to bring us back, now you follow all of their storylines and how this family is dealing with the world. So I don't think you need to necessarily pull one character out and follow them. And I think that was what Charmed was. It wasn't one character. It wasn't just Piper or Phoebe or any of us. It was the th power of three. So I think you would have to follow the entire family, how they all kind of mesh, unless you bring new people in. I, that's, that's how I'd like to see it. Like all the same characters go on, here we are. 20 years later, I still got the same powers. Poof. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> when, <laughs> when did your character just come from like the Upper East Side? I'm all, I'm all, yes, I'm Leo. <laughs> from Upper East Side. Yeah. Jeez. Leo eats bagels. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fires <laughs> dust. Oh boy. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah, it's Leo. So uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I can't top that. Can't top it, huh? No, I, I'm not even going to say anything. <laughs> you want to follow the Drew character all the way down, right? No, I mean, yeah. well, no, I'm nothing. Nope. He he's all about Wyatt and Chris. Move on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that could have been a great show, but they were that that show already existed or exists in Supernatural, like two brothers kind of fighting the supernatural. So what would have been a uh, an obvious kind of continuation of my character and the guy who played my brother, ultimately doesn't make sense because it would be redundant with Supernatural, which was one of the biggest hits for the CW and the WB ever. Um, so yeah. Thank you. Of course. Anyone Anybody else? else? Have Come on. Any I other know questions? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know about you guys. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to get an audition, and, and, and I start with that. Like, oh, yeah, great. I have an opportunity. What's it for? Yeah, well, what's it for? Um, and uh, very, very, very rarely am I like, oh, I, I just don't think this one's for me. So I, do, I take each thing as it comes. Uh, I'm in that position where I'm, I don't want to be picky or choosy. I just, yeah, I'm like, great, great, well, whatever you got. I want to go to work, and I can make it work. Um, I am very drawn to the sci-fi world. I think it's a ton of fun. Um, it does open up the possibilities of all, of all these things that are just so non-linear. Um, but um, no, for, for the most part, just, I, I just get excited to work, the idea of working with other actors. So much, we live in the Los Angeles area, so much is not there. Uh, and so it's fun, the idea of temporarily relocating or you know, living in a different you know, place for a little bit. Um, uh, uh, for work is always very attractive. So. No, I don't know about you guys. I just love, uh, it's like, it's almost like each opportunity is Christmas morning. I don't know. It's like, oh my God, this could be great. And it never goes my way. What am I doing? No, yeah, it eventually does. But there's a lot of no's before you get to a yes for me. For me, I think it's. Uh, it's for me, I get everything. Hey, everything I want to get. Well, it's. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Law of attraction. Put it out there and manifest that it comes back. Yeah, I love that. Um, yeah. No, I, I think for me, it's not so much specific genre. Like, yes, I'm attracted to certain genres more than others, but really it ultimately comes down to role, character. Like, you read it and you're like, ooh, this is exciting. This is something I can sink my teeth into. Um, this, I have a good take on this character. Um, all those nerdy, acty things that I promised I wasn't going to talk about. And here I am talking about it. Um, we really talked about this last night. We're like, let's just not talk about acting stuff and approach because that just sounds so bad. And here I am talking about my motivation and like what inspires me and what inspires my character. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, character based more than anything else that gets really exciting. And like if it happens to be or line up in a genre that I'm obsessed with, then even better. What about you, Brian? No, I feel the same way. You know, it's it's very rare as an actor that you actually get to choose your career path. It it just doesn't happen unless you're Leo or Christian Bale, like you said. Unless you're a superstar, you're not choosing the path you go down. Auditions come in, you read, you get a job, you don't. And you know, once maybe you get a fantasy movie or a horror movie, now people that make horror movies are like, oh, let's get the guy there. And now next thing you know, you're the horror fantasy guy. Like. It's you, you, you. No choice of your own. Yeah, good work on that one thing, and now you play that a lot. Uh, Does following for horror work as well? Horror is the same kind of thing. Yeah, it's. I've done a lot of it, uh, and you know, I'll get on a set, and people are like, "Man, we loved you in that." So, could you kind of do the same thing? And I'm like, "Man, I'm like, <gasps> okay." Or you know, Leo. Like, I'm a lot of Leo. Like, I want a lot of people who are like, "Okay, come in." And this character, and the director will be talking to you. Okay, it's a lot like Leo. And I'm like, "Man, that was okay." You know, and it's not that I pick it out or choose. And like Teddy said, it's like I just want to act. Like, I love acting. I don't care what it is. I I love the act of actually being on stage, memorizing lines, being in a scene, whether it's a fantasy movie or whatever it is. I, I got love an it. idea. I got a wild I love idea. It. <gasps> you two act out a scene from Beckett, go. 
Hmm. From, 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 what? from uh, Beckett, Samuel Beckett. Yeah. So Beckett. we can wait for Godot. Yeah. And so we'll just sit here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Watch He'll show up. I want you to guys all watch this. He's not here yet. I don't think he's coming. I don't have any lines in this scene, so yeah, just, that's right, right, right. <laughs> right. Stop right. breaking character, Brian. We're just sitting and being. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a yeah. like a like with you look like a director, a director right like there. who's yeah. just like, with any the questions open, in the audience, yeah. open sir, in the sure. front row. We've got time yeah. for what's your one more question, <laughs> actually. So let's let's head over there and and what's your question? Oh my god. Well, uh, on the set, I walk. You know, I had spiky hair to go tea. I'm instantly evil, right? Uh, I, I think playing an evil character is always a lot more fun. You you get all the best lines. Uh, the evil characters and the bad boys seem to get the girls, and the nice guys are just the nice guys. Finish but, last, bud. Uh, you know, I, it was tough because I was a parent at the time to a very young boy, and. It was nice playing the nice moral message and the good guy, uh, but it was definitely more fun to play evil. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I like bad characters, but I, I think, you know, I'm kind of resigned to always being the good guy. I don't know why. It's, it's not true to form. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't read too much into my bio. <laughs> For me, it's definitely go, I, I always prefer to do evil. <laughs> It's just more interesting. There's, it's more fun. Like, I, it's funny. Like, there's um, another actor here with us this weekend, Trevor Donovan, and we've done multiple movies together. And he's like this blonde-haired, blue-eyed hunk, and he's always getting the girl. Yep. And I'm. Oh, they she know. Knows. She yeah. knows what you're talking about. Oh, they know. Yeah. 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 And I. And I, I so it's basically it's Trevor and I fighting for the girl, and he keeps getting the girl. <laughs> Because you're the evil one. Because I'm the it's evil one, one, or I have like alter ulterior alternative ulterior ulterior, ulterior motives. Yeah. Um, but the best lines. Yeah, much better lines, much more interesting than like <laughs> because I, I played this good guy on this show for seven years. Um, he was like the sweetest man alive. Like the kids could have burned down the house, and he was like, "It's okay, buddy." We can rebuild this brick by brick. I understand. And yeah, I understand your anger, and let's talk it. Let's talk it out, and we'll get through it together. And that's beautiful, and it's fun, but that's ridiculous. Like kid burns down the house, you're you're grounded. Right. Was this my fault? Yeah. <laughs> so to be able to do these Hallmark films or these Lifetime films that I've been fortunate enough to do, for whatever reason, I guess it's just my look. They're not really interested in me getting the girl. I'm the one who. I'm temptation, <laughs> but ultimately the wrong choice, and that's fine. I, 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 I yeah, I'll, I'll accept that, and I embrace it, and it's probably. I think in, in Love Fallen Order, your character, did you get broke? Your character got broken up with like right away. Yeah, too, that was well. Like. That 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 whole thing was. Uh, Were you a stalker in that one? No, I was. <laughs> The, the directors are dear friends of mine, and they're like, hey, we have this role last minute. Can you come and do it? And it was like to play this really nerdy boyfriend who gets dumped immediately for Trevor, of course. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's then you like stalked it, her you and show, went to jail. You had to show a lot of your comedic chops, though, in that role, Yeah, exactly. Really so, that, again, like, fun thing to do. Also, again, to go work with friends. I think that's, like, the greatest gift, truly, to be on location somewhere with people that you love. Well, we are so excited that all of you are here today, and thank you for sharing some of those stories. And now I see, I, I maybe see these two having a bromance together. These two already have a bromance, so maybe bromance movie. What do I'm you think? I'm already in love. Are we well, doing any more panels this weekend? I'm, I am. If you, I'm not, but if you want to have me on one you're doing later. Am I I'll doing come. another one? I don't know. I, is I don't this our know. only panel, Sean? This is, this is your only panel. Falling um, for fantasy. Falling, right. falling for Fa fantasy. Fa but all of you can go and meet some of these guys, get your autographs, selfies. There's tons of stuff happening out there, and there's more panels coming up. So check Thank your you schedule guys so and see much. what you're into. Thanks for showing up. Thanks, everybody. It. Coming for the weekend. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. See you.